Welcome to this four part tutorial on timers using the STM32 Duino framework. In this uh, first tutorial we'll be going over the basics. So we'll be doing PWM uh, 1 and 2 and making some LEDs flash. So I'll be using the um, STM32 407 discovery kit which uh, conveniently has four LEDs on it um, and here's the code for the first tutorial so um, it's not very long um, some of it looks a bit complicated but we'll go through that uh, so just to start off with um, I'd like to say that this uh, chunk of code is functionally identical to this chunk of code um, so you're probably thinking well let's do this it looks simpler uh, so what we're saying here is um, we're using timer 4 um, that the green LED pin is, is, is connected to channel 1, uh, orange on 2, uh, etc. So um, the code above is doing the same, so like this instance here will end up resulting in timer 4, but it's doing kind of introspection um, or kind of reflection to discover that. Um, so you don't need to open the data sheets and find out that um, like the green LED pin is on timer 4 and is on channel 1. And this kind of works it out for you, so it's, it's quite neat. So um, let's move on. Uh, so we've, we've basically we've got like a, an instance here configuration and we can create a hardware timer. First thing we probably want to do um, is Let's just rewind a bit. Um, there are easier ways of doing this. We, I could have used timer um, set PWM, um, but I've gone this slightly longer route um, just to explain timers a little bit more. So back to where, where I was. Uh, so this this first part is essentially setting the uh, the, the timer's uh, reset value or kind of over, over overflow time. Um, there's different ways of doing it. What I'm basically saying here is that I want this timer to reset um, once a second or one one hertz. Um, inside this function, sort of hidden away, um, there's some clever maths that works out what prescaler you need and what period ticks you need in order to give you uh, make sure that this timer resets once every second. Um, so, you know, you can have a look what's inside this code to see what it's doing. Um, there are other ways of setting the, the overall timer frequency, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use this method here. Um, so, uh, looking at the next section, what we're doing here is basically deciding how each of the channels works, how it's configured. So we're basically saying like channel green, which is the first channel of timer 4. Um, we want it to be working in PWM1 mode. Um, there's also this PWM2 mode. So PWM1 mode, um, basically uh, in the period, um, which we know is one second, um, it will start high, so the, um, the, the LED will be on first, it will then go low. Um, we'll see when it happens it, um, a bit later, um, but the important thing is PWM starts high and goes low, whereas PWM2 starts low and goes high. So that's kind of why because we're using different ones, um, that's why LED green and LED orange, which kind of got the same duty cycle, one's kind of flashing on um, whilst the other is flashing off. You know, they're, they're, they're opposites to each other. And that's the reason why. Um, so, and kind of similarly, the red and blue ones, um, they're similarly configured, but um, we've gone from for a different duty cycle. So, like I sort of said earlier, the the green and orange one have a 50% duty cycle. That means um, halfway through our one second period, something you know the, the change will happen and it will flip, it will toggle from on to off or off to on. Um, with the red and blue, we've gone a bit later. So three quarters of the way through this um, one second time, um, the, the red one will go from being on to off and the blue one will be going from off so on. So you can kind of see with the LEDs that the the blue one flashes um, quite a bit uh, less than the um, the red one. 
So um, that's pretty much about it for this first brief um, intro. Um, just kind of like to say with this board, um, it's got, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 pins and it's got 14 timers on it. Um, generally, uh, you, what you'll find is that if you kind of take the number of pins that there are and then divide by four, that's sort of roughly what, um, how many timers you'll get. And the reason for that is because um, the timers do lots of functions, but one function is that they can control um, a specific uh, pin. So, um, you know, this can these timers can control 48 of, the, of the, the pins on this. So that's why you, you know, you tend to get the, the larger boards, um, you, you know, with more pins tend to have more timers on them. Um, so that's it. Uh, the next tutorial, um, I'll be looking at uh, counter modes. Um, so basically, this particular um, tutorial we've been going up um, in terms of counter modes, and we'll be looking at like center center aligned PWM. Um, so hopefully you'll make it back for that. Cheers.